Hello. All right, we're going to do section 8-5, law of sines and cosines, law of 8-5, law of sines and law of cosines. Okay, section 8-5, 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 section 8-5,
squared plus b squared. And I'm guessing minus 2ab plus something. Okay? Those are our three formulas, okay? You just have to write them down and have them, okay? Now, essentially what it's saying is, like say we're doing it with the a, okay? We're trying to find the a or trying to set it equal to the a, whatever we're trying to do. All right, we would do the a and then the bc are added together. And then we subtract it from 2 times the bc times cosine a, okay? It's super important because it's not super important at all. All right, so let's do an example problem, and then I'll quit talking about this forever, forever and ever, okay? Um, let's, say, let's say we know an angle and two sides. So we're going to use this formula to do this, all right? Here's our angle. We're trying to find A. So what we're going to do is we're just leaving A squared equals. This will be our, this will be our B. This will be our C. And so we got 16 squared plus... 18 squared minus 2 times 16 times, stop moving those coins around. Alright, and then cosine of our angle, which is 21. Alright, I'm just going to type that whole dang thing in the calculator. 16 squared plus 18 squared minus 2 times 16 times 18 times the cosine of 21. I got 42, I'm sorry, 42.2577, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to leave it on my calculator because I need to get the square root of it and I can just put it in there. So square root of 42.2577. I got 6.5, whatever they want to round it to, but that's what it is. Remember, you got to get the square root to get rid of that. And you're done. The end. That was super duper fun, and I don't ever want to talk about it again. All right.